Hello everyone and welcome to this week's vlog. If you're new here, my name is Fred and uh, I'm obsessed with Lego. So <laughs> that's that's the short story. Uh, but in this week's vlog, uh, I'm going to be covering a, a few things. You know, I went to pick up some Lego. We went to the Lego store, so there'll be a, a pick a brick update from the Brighton Lego store. And also a few other updates I'm going to be sharing. So first of all, it's like from my Bricklink store, I've been quite busy this week actually um, dealing with orders and also with a lot of... Uh, adding new stuff to to the store so much in fact that i've now actually hit for the first time ever the limit of 400,000 parts in my store i'm actually around 413,000 uh, at this moment of recording so uh yeah keeps growing even though i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it all so uh and i just went into my loft as well about uh, half an hour ago to sort things out and i've got more lego in there than i realized so uh yeah not so good uh, you will also probably know by now that we do have a Discord channel now. We've had to uh, temporarily disable all the links in our um, to join the Discord server in the, on all the description of the, the YouTube videos. So those links will not work at the moment. So if you want to join our Discord, there's two ways of doing that. So if you're a Patreon member, uh, you, you can just contact me and I will make sure that you get an invite on there. And otherwise, uh, you can still join for free. Uh, you can just go to my website, hilliansbricks.co.uk, but at the top section, you will see a section where you just have to put in your name and uh, some details. And that way, uh, you will then send a request to me. And within 24 to 48 hours, I will send out a link with an invite in there. Just be aware that that link does not stay valid forever. There is an expiry. So as soon as you get that link, click on there, and you should be able to then join our Discord server. Yeah, and it's definitely worth joining at this moment in time because we're getting lots of lego deals and lego deals uh it's it's kind of this time of year is normal because what we found is that uh, black friday is coming right so uh, towards the end of november but typically black friday is not as good as the lead up to black friday so i would say from now on till about two weeks before black friday is when we should see the peak uh, number of deals and the best deals then they put the prices back up and then then comes black friday so-called black friday deals yes you might have the odd great deal but chances are that a lot of the time the price you see on black friday will probably have been cheaper before black friday and likely at this coming time now for the next few weeks we're definitely keeping our eyes out for lego deals but more on that later um first of all let's show you the latest pick a brick wall in brighton i didn't film anything else in brighton i didn't uh buy anything either but i just thought i'd share you an update of the pick a brick wall in brighton so here you go So 
so that was my visit to the Brighton Lego store. As I said, we went Friday night and I didn't buy anything. Uh, um, I didn't feel like there was anything new on the picker brick wall, nor were there any more uh, deals or great gift with purchase. So I'm just going to wait for bigger and better things to come later in the month or later in the year, actually, in the run up to Christmas. I'm sure there'll be other gift with purchase coming out and potentially another double VIP. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that one. Now, uh, I did something yesterday, which was Saturday, for the first time uh, I've ever done this, and it's uh, I went to a, a Lego kind of show. I was well, it's a brick and model show. Now this was a quite, a quite small one, but uh, for you viewers who uh, have not seen one before uh, or never been to one, I would recommend you check out this YouTube channel called Ian's Bricks. He goes and actually um, to a lot of these uh, fairs and sells Lego on them, but. Uh, yeah, it made me think maybe I should go check out one and see what it's like. Now, I went to the Red Hill Brick and Model Show. So it's a quite fairly small thing, but it was very cheap. It was like £4 to get in uh, and £1 for a child. And then they had uh, quite a few models uh, going around. Uh, the one thing that uh, I went with my older son, and uh, it was nothing major massive. Not like the Brick Festival show, like the massive ones. But it was good to see it regardless of what you can expect. Um, the one thing we did enjoy was that they kind of had like a... Uh, a treasure hunt so you had to search for um, Homer Simpson ar around the display so they had about 12 Homer Simpsons all dotted across the the two holes that they had and you had to go find them in, in the Lego displays mostly so that was uh, quite a fun feature so you might actually see some footage of a few Homer Simpsons dotted about uh, the Lego show but yeah here's some footage that I took from uh, yesterday's Red Hill uh, I think it's brick and model show so yeah here you go
So I spoke about LEGO deals earlier in the week, right? And uh, there was particularly Argos were quite active with the LEGO deals. And earlier today, I went to pick up some uh, LEGO sets. Now, the first thing that I picked up were some of these uh, Darth Vader meditation chambers. Yes, they weren't discounted, but they had a 10% off deal plus some cash back. Now, I bought three of these. Two of them are going to be going to the Patreon giveaway competition for October. So if you're a Patreon member or, or if you're still interested in becoming a Patreon member, you can do so before the end of the month. We will then do a draw early November to see who were the October giveaway winners. And uh, yeah, we're going to be giving away two of these. So yeah, that's uh, quite a nice set. Ended up paying, was it 54? Because yeah, it's normally 60 pounds. It's, it's retiring, 10% off. I have a few of these already in my storage unit that paid 48 plus cashback. So I paid less before, but since it's retiring and I don't think we're going to be seeing it around for much longer. And then we got another uh, Lego set for my son here, Emil, and he's got his own uh, Lego channel, by the way, Emil's Lego Reviews. He's, and he's coming in, and we got the McLaren Formula One. This was £108, uh, using, it was discounted, and then it was discounted to £120, and then 10% off, made £108, some cash back here as well. Lego store, I can't Yeah, it's a lot much more expensive than Lego store. So, Emil didn't know we were getting him. I'm like, Emil, you want to come with me to Argos? He's like, yeah, sure, okay, I'll come around. I'm like, you might want to come. And as soon as this one appeared from behind the counter, you should have no, seen... No, I didn't, I didn't even see it from the counter. She had this, like, screen on the uh, there. Like, this <laughs> little orange with the black around it. He spotted it straight away on the little display screen when you enter your, your, uh, your code, right? So, and... As soon as it came, he should have seen the smile on his face, and he didn't. He didn't want me to carry the box. He was carrying it. Yeah, the box is dented, but it doesn't matter. Emil will eventually build, build this, on my build this on his channel. But we don't have room. At the moment. We don't really have room to the and space. And this building happening in my room. But I think maybe right. what we should do is we do this maybe as a special for maybe when you hit five five hundred or a thousand subscribers. This could be your special build. <laughs> no, I'm waiting. No, no, there's an incentive. So <laughs> here's an incentive, guys. <laughs> Emil is. <laughs> Emil. Emil's are currently at 115 subscribers. Let's say if he gets to 500 subscribers. He, fu, no, no, no. If, if he gets to 500 subscribers, he gets to build this one. There we go. That's your deal. You wanted to be in this video. You're in it now. 500 subscribers people for Emil's Lego. Right, all of you subscribed, then that'll happen quickly and you get to see me build this. So, yeah, the only problem is where, the only problem is where do we put this, right? Because I, you, uh, I showed the guys earlier uh, of our visit yesterday to uh, Red Hill. And this was on display there. One of them was built. It is massive. It's 68 it? centimeters. It was there yesterday. It is massive. And I was thinking, because I already knew we were added order. I was like, wow, if we Mill's going to build this, where do we put this? So that's a problem we're going to have to figure out later. But yeah, that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you around the next one, right? Bye for now. Bye. Bye.